Geminis, welcome in. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another tarot reading with myself, Jo. Uh, before we get started, if anybody is wanting to book a personal reading with me, then have a look in the description bar below. I've left some links and instructions there for you. Uh, if the reading resonates, can't get me words right, if the reading resonates with you, Gemini, then uh, feel free to subscribe and also give me a thumbs up. Okay, Geminis, let's get into your reading. First card is Strength. Second being Nine of Cups. Then we have the Six of Wands. Temperance card, the Four and the High Priestess. So Geminis, it's, it's, it seems as though you have been pursuing a dream here, a wish. You're pursuing something. It could even be another person. But uh, having the Nine of Cups there, which is uh, a wish card even, representing a wish, that could very well be the case for many of you. Um, with the Strength card, that's a big Leo energy there. Um, this is having courage and uh, confidence to pursue this. And, and that's where you are finding strength to continue. So perhaps this has taken a long time um, and nothing worth having, you know, comes easy. So it's been quite a challenge, quite a task, but uh, you've built up a lot of strength. For this i'm seeing it as being something su successful for you okay so you may it may be just taking off because the six of wands is like a small victory and we've got fire energy there again that could be aries leo Sag. perhaps you are just in that energy it doesn't mean you are connecting with that sign um so yes a small victory there so it's it's taking off in some way or it's taking shape it's taking form even Okay, this wish, this dream, this goal, whatever it is for you, however it resonates for you guys. Then we've got temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, more fire. So lots of um, fire energy here for you. We've also got the four, which is Aries energy. So yes, absolutely. For many of you, you are connecting with a fire sign. Perhaps they are part of your team um, or they are the one that uh, gives you this kickstart, this push yeah, in, in some way. So with temperance, this is like, understanding what is it you're understanding it's like an understanding i'm feeling very much like the magician here like perhaps this is something you have manifested it's like you're at peace then something's humbled you in some type of way as well and then the fall is like stepping into a new beginning taking a leap of faith yeah so that's nice that you've built up such strength first before taking this leap and then moving on to the high priestess this is the high priestess okay it's aquarius energy she's very in tune with her intuition with her guides her spirit guides but then again she keeps a lot of things to herself she can uh hold secrets then if you like so perhaps there is some secret you found some sort of niche that you are keeping to yourself we shall read on gemini's interesting five of wands three of pentacles absolutely uh, many are challenges but you're keeping this to yourself keeping it to yourself interesting three of pentacles as well that is communication working together okay so it could be somebody that you're working with you are in competition with somehow there you go there's that fire energy there again passion this person could be really passionate about what they're doing but it shows whatever they are doing it shows they can possibly even be younger than you or what they're doing looks really immature to you mm, that's interesting but this is i would say this is your competition it's almost like you're wanting to work alongside this person but it's it looks like a competition a slight little battle here yeah could be causing some conflicts as well but this person i want to say this could be the fire sign because there's lots of fire energy on in your spread today uh this page of wands it, yeah, this page of wands is looking quite, quite intriguing um, to me. I'm going to clarify that page of wands because it's something that they're doing. Okay, I am getting that. It's like you're meant to be working together, but there's something that they're, they're doing that's causing some sort of conflict. Clarify the page of wands. There we go. Strength card again. Mm. And what, what also came as well is the magician. I did pick up that energy earlier and also the five 
of pentacles so they perhaps they feel as if you are in the lead so it's like what they're doing very extra then let's say that they're being extra doing extra things it's, they admire your strength however it doesn't come across that way what they think is not what it doesn't show it's the total what they're doing is the total opposite of what they think okay and it's almost like they see you as competition where i don't necessarily feel like you see them as competition gemini it's like you've manifested this so you're calm you're humble with that temperance energy you've manifested this wish this is your wish so you're right where you need to be like for you it's no competition yeah it's no competition you know you are exactly where you need to be and if you've manifested this so far god knows what's next so uh that other person best brace themselves tell me more about this person oh, look at this guys we have the five of pentacles again five of swords i'm not quite sure perhaps you're both going for the same position okay there could be some sort of promotion or, or something taking place it's like you're both going for the same position but this person has already lost it looks so please do apply this to your situation it's um they feel as though they've already lost it's like you've come in and just totally they feel defeated and i did ask about your person here so tell me more about gemini's person and we've got the five of pentacles and the five of swords okay and fives it's the number five here okay represents changes so this person is feeling defeated. It's, it's like you've already won, Gemini, and you knew that. <laughs> this is really good. It's like you've manifested this. I picked up the magician energy before it even came out. So yes, this is something that you've manifested, worked very hard for, and mentally as well. Yeah. So this, I'm going to get one more card for your person. This, this page of wands, we'll call them. Uh-huh, there we are three of swords scattered emotions okay so they they can't even comprehend how this has happened um and let's not discredit them perhaps they had been putting in work as well but it's almost as if you were like um the dark horse then is, is that what they call it yeah i mean the dark horse um the unexpected yeah unexpected competition then even okay gemini's so we're going to go in with an outcome what's the outcome here I feel like I already know. <laughs> okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. Oh, oh and not, not too many. I'll just take those two. Two of Cups. And eight of Cups. So the outcome being that oh, you are hanging on to this. Oh, this is yours. It's yours for the taking. The Queen of Cups uh, does have lots of emotion cancer pisces scorpio energy there lots of emotion lots of love lots of at the same time this person has pa passion um, you have a lot of love and passion as well but it's so contained it's done in the right way whereas in this this other person mm, kind of messed up behaving in the way that they did and you would know if this story resonates for you nine of wands and um, this could be that you are protecting yourself here against this person or against what you have achieved or could it even be as deep as this person uh, going to jail into prison whatever this is but it's like a mutual connection here and this is the outcome okay so it's like someone's protecting themselves maybe against this person a person even somebody that had a very deep strong bond with a very a connection with this could be dating even and that's the outcome so this could very well be your person perhaps they it's, it's looking very much jealousy someone's going to be walking away anyway it's not this is not your two of cups according to you it's like you've ha now have to protect yourself and this please do bear in mind this is the outcome you now have to protect yourself against somebody who maybe you once love which could very well be this fire sign that keeps popping up it's fire energy even sorry uh, but yeah, someone's going to be walking away. It's not the extra two that you thought it would have been then. So let's walk away from this. Yeah. Somebody's going to be left alone. Let's see what the Oracle has to say for you today, Gemini. Oops. What's 
the new ones. Thanks. Can just about shuffle today, bear with. <laughs> What's the news for January? What's the advice? Ooh, there we go, straight away. And that was very clear. A time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now. I'll get you one more as well. That pretty much speaks for itself. As I said, someone's walking away. It's about to end for now. So um, it's looking promising. It's, it's looking as though it may come back together again. But you just never know. The mermaid and the turtle. An elder will teach you. There you go. So somebody older than you, somebody um, even like a spiritual teacher, a guru. And, and it doesn't have to be that. It's somebody that you know. This could be anyone. It's like an elder, and your elder doesn't mean even that it's in age. It could be your elder in, uh, they may be more spiritually developed than you are, okay? And there's some, there's a lesson there for you to learn. And perhaps that's what you're learning. Perhaps that's why you're walking away. Gemini's, that has been your reading. If the reading has resonated for you, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wish to. Um... Please do take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't. Don't force anything to fit with your situation, guys. And yes, tarot is for your guidance. So it's entirely up to you what you do with this guidance. It does not replace any medical or professional advice, guys. And yes, have a wonderful day and take care. Until next time.